With elastic audio, you can influence the pitch of an object for each sample. Select one or more objects. Open the elastic audio editor either via the object editor under pitch shifting time stretching or via the real time effects menu. Each object will be highlighted with a white frame. The object's name appears at the bottom object edge. The line displayed in the middle shows the pitch shift. You can now edit this curve with the tools. The tool for the left mouse button is displayed in blue and the right mouse button in red. Click on the appropriate tool with the corresponding mouse button. Use the Selection tool to select specific objects. You can also move the entire curve. It's my house! It's my house! Or just one end of the curve via the handles on the side. It's my house! The precise pitch appears as a tooltip with each mouse function. By double clicking on the border, a value can be entered directly. This way, you can correct distortions which may be audible over a long range, like, for example, the fading out of a choir. Use the Draw tool to draw a freehand curve at any position you like. Draw a straight line by pressing the Shift key. There is a second version of this Draw tool as well, the difference being that in the second version, the curve is always quantized exactly by a half tone. With the Bend tool, the curve between the two ends can be shaped in whichever way you like. Double-clicking lets you enter the value directly. Use the Cut tool to split an object into multiple slices. Each of these objects now have Start and End handles. With the eraser, you can set the draw part of the curve back to zero. The move and zoom tools can be used for navigating your way around while editing. On the left edge, you can see the Edit VIP object window. Here you can set the matching algorithm for all selected objects. Use curve smoothing to set how fast the algorithm should be executed. The reset button resets the pitch characteristics of an object back to zero. If you now switch to direct mode and to recognize in the pitch window, the audio material will be analyzed and automatically split into multiple slices. Changes you may have made prior to this remain in place. Each slice is now positioned corresponding to their pitch. It's my house! The yellow curve no longer displays the pitch shift, but rather the pitch directly. This can be read to the left on the keyboard. In this mode, you can use the same tools to edit the curve as you used in relative mode. In addition, there are tuning tools available in the Edit Slice object window for automatically adjusting the pitch. It's my house! Use the harmonizer to add additional voices to the object and play it back as a major or minor chord.